I'm here at Forty Hall with Enfield Archaeological Society who are excavating in the grounds. Well, we're the Enfield Archaeological Society. Uh, almost all willing, <coughs> free volunteers who do this for the love of it, although uh, during the week I'm a professional archaeologist, which is why I'm leading the team. And we are, on behalf of the London Borough of Enfield, excavating here a small part of Elsing Palace, which was the one of the many palaces that Henry VIII owned, was in fact developed from an earlier palace owned by one of his courtiers. And over the last several years we've been exploring different parts of it, uh, just with a small trench each year. And this particular one is hoping to find uh, what may be a circular tower uh, on the perimeter of the palace. Every different layer of soil has a different number and each object as it comes out uh, is kept in a bag with that layer number on and they're washed, they're identified, uh, and they will help us to tell the story of what date individual layers were, and so for instance perhaps how this palace developed. Um, was it perhaps changed in its shape? Uh, were the functions of the rooms changed? Did a kitchen become an armoury perhaps? Uh, and indeed what date was it demolished? And the sorts of lives that people lived here can be told by the remains of bones perhaps in layers that tell us what they ate or the type of pottery they had. Was it expensive pottery or cheap pottery? Uh, was it something that you used on a table for a king or are we in an area of the palace perhaps where the servants lived and they only had rather grotty pottery? So every individual object, every little chip of pottery can help tell the story of the site. Okay. We've already found quite a bit today and we've only been at it a couple of hours. We've got a wall revealed and we've, from one of the layers, had quite a number of interesting pieces of pottery, uh, including some pieces of something we call Freck and Barkman ware. Very hard fired pottery from Germany, glazed with salt, curiously enough, uh, and sometimes decorated with the face of a bearded man. We've had one piece of that today. And um, that was the sorts of pottery that you used to serve wine or beer at table before they invented glass wine bottles. And much of this will come from the palace of Henry VIII's time or just a little after.